Hi, and welcome to More to Media. I'm your host, Jeff Swartz, here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm really excited about my next guest. She is um, the head, the president of an award-winning market-leading media company uh, here in the Pittsburgh area, area, Shay Murtaugh of Hoffman & Murtaugh. Shay, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. So in 30 seconds, tell us a little bit about Hoffman Murtaugh. So um, the G is silent. So it's Murtaugh, um, just for everybody out there. Um, but in 30 seconds, uh, we are the largest uh, media-only agency in Pittsburgh uh, area. So there's a lot of ad agencies that are much larger than we are in Pittsburgh. But we just focus on the media-only side. And so our team is much larger in the media side. So, But we focus on PESO model, which is paid, earned, shared, owned media, and tying all those efforts together. And we have, um, we turned globally this year. Um, we're working with uh, a company, Merck Animal Health on a global level, and we do national campaigns and we do regional and local Pittsburgh campaigns. Awesome. And you, we do some follow, uh, some pre-questions beforehand. And in regards to digital marketing, you said, start doing it. If you haven't, you're late to the game. I love that quote uh, from you. And, but you also do a lot of traditional as well, too, and kind of blend those two together. So I thought that you would have a really great insight into what is the power when it and when does it make sense to have both that digital and that traditional component? Well, it all comes down to your targets. So your targets, um, if you look at, um, in general, 18 to plus, there's no longer an opportunity to buy that market. You have to break that market into four different sections. So 18 to 24, not really using any traditional mediums. Um, you go to 25 to probably up to 50. They are uh, still very heavily digital. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, then you go to the over 50 crowd is very much as a cross between um, traditional and, and digital and leaning towards a, a, a traditional piece. So it really comes down to who your target is and how they consume media. Um, you, you'd be surprised how many companies out there think that television is dead. That is not an accurate assumption. Um, television and how we use it or how we watch it is really the change. Uh, we're in a video world. And so you know, like I said, usually that, that 40, even that 40 plus crowd is still using some traditional formats of television, but you can still really, um, that linear, linear t t television piece is not dead. And so we are seeing now because we're putting a response management tool towards that television piece, um, we're seeing that the, the traditional television medium is driving a lot of the digital results. So I think the misconception out there is it really is an integrated world for media and really no medium is obsolete, even as far as newspaper, if you're trying to reach more of that 60 plus crowd, uh, they tend to still like to get up and read their newspapers on the paper, so. Yeah, absolutely, nothing's cookie cutter. Everything's, you know, for a specific audience, depending on what you're doing with the different clients, there's always something that has value there and it's about leveraging what at what time, right? Now, one of the things that that you all are very um, passionate about as well is first party data. Um, explain a little bit about, you know, the importance of tapping into first party data and how to really leverage it. So with the cookie going away, uh, Google announces that announced that at the end of 23. Now they, you know, change their minds a lot and they really are the largest browser globally. They, they capture like 90% of the whole entire uh, browser market. But with that cookie going away, first party data is going to be everything for your marketing piece. And so if you haven't thought yet about collecting more first party data, if you think about it, if you're using all this marketing and, and money to drive people to your website, how are you getting those people to opt in? How are you able to collect maybe just as simple as an email, a name and an email is really at the most basic level what you need to collect. And then you want to work with a CRM system or some kind of a system to kind of organize all that data. So then you can nurture that consumer through your process. Um, people are on different stages of buying. So maybe they are interested in you, jumped onto your website, maybe left, maybe went back. That's why retargeting becomes a great piece of that. But first party data is going to be everything right now because when the cookie goes away, you won't be able to rely on a third party 
marketing piece to me that has really no relation to you. And that's why it's becoming more personalized marketing. Um, people really want to be interested in you and that way they'll pay attention to your marketing uh, pieces that you put out there. Absolutely. And with um, the final question, we're down to one minute really quickly, but how are you advancing your company? How are you keeping up with these things that's ever changing? Um, are you creating your own tech? Are you just doing a lot of R&D? Kind of really quickly, how are you keeping up with things? Yeah, so um, you never have to be the leader. Like we're not going to be like an Amazon or anything like that, but I try to stay five mm -hmm. steps ahead. Um, you know, our own clients are really at the baseline of everything that's going on because they're more slow moving with um, what they have the ability to do within their own companies. And so we try to stay five steps ahead. But right now, a lot of these tech pieces, we're bringing in partners. Um, there was a decision to either build it um, partner or acquire, and we decided to partner. And so we were working with this great company out of New York City to kind of really organize almost like a data, it's a data warehouse company, but they really help with a lot more of that techie and kind of organizing our clients data for during the reporting piece. So, um, and then, you know, we're going to have to, on the front end, we're going to have to really work with other partners and companies that really specialize in that first party data collection. Awesome. Well, Shay, we're out of time already. I really appreciate your insight. I know that you're a leading expert in these areas as well, too. So thank you so much for your time today. Thanks so much for having me on today, Jeff. Absolutely. And thanks for watching this episode of More to Media. If you want to get in touch with Shay, or if you want to get in touch with anybody over at Hoffman Murtaugh, we'll have all their information at dailyadbrief.com. I highly recommend following them for more information if you're interested in anything in the peso model or media uh, based and, uh, and give her, give her a little, little LinkedIn click as well, too. She's a wealth of knowledge and is really great at keeping up to date content, uh, rolling through her social media. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time. Simplify presents addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.